This video is sponsored by Intel. What problems are the Intel Arc GPUs trying to solve? Intel Arc is all about restoring balance for the graphics market. We want to be the leader in performance per dollar. Hey everyone, my name is Bob and welcome to the what of my why, what, how video series on Intel Arc GPUs. In this video, we'll be joined by Mark Walton from Intel for an exclusive Q&A to help answer some questions around what Intel's new line of GPUs can do for us as content creators. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video because we'll be talking about why one of their cards that I'll be showcasing in this series might be the next best thing that you could add to your setup. Graphics cards are against the clock nowadays. Games are getting more intense by the day with increasingly complex graphics and gamers are no different constantly thirsting for more frames and higher resolutions. So naturally, Intel's focus with Arc begins there, but it doesn't end there. When I spoke with Intel, they made it clear that they not only intend to meet these growing demands, but also the demands of content creators, especially those who are looking to do things like accelerate their video encoding, live stream, and capture gameplay all at the same time. So when building the A-Series, they did so with three key pillars in mind, gaming, creation, and streaming. So naturally, as a content creator myself, my first question for the team over at Intel was, so what does Arc allow us to do as creators? So like we talked about earlier, we really focus on our three key pillars. But the cool thing is these things aren't mutually exclusive, both from a user perspective as well as hardware design. So for example, we have XCSS, which is our AI enhanced upscaling engine. And that lets you improve visuals without sacrificing frame rates. But then on top of that, we have our super powerful media engine, which allows you to encode using H.264 and HEVC faster than before, as well as unlocking the ability to use the latest AV1 codec. And the really cool thing is here, which honestly is what first attracted me to the art cards in the first place, is that these GPUs are currently the most affordable way to do all of this at that level, specifically the AV1 encoding. Yeah, currently our Intel Arc A750 card is around £250 or $250 in the US. Um, and it has hardware level ray tracing units, which makes it fantastic value for money. Uh, but it also has AV1 encoding, which I think is going to be really interesting for creators like yourself. And that's available across the entire stack, even on our entry level Intel Arc A380 card. That's simply not something you'll find from the competition. So we've talked about how Arc helps creators in general, but let's delve more into AV1 encoding specifically. What does it actually mean for streamers? AV1 is huge for streamers. You know, firstly, it's royalty free, which means that devs can freely incorporate the codec into their software, which helps tremendously with industry adoption. And we've seen that already with apps like OBS and XSplit, right? Those, those guys have picked up AV1 on Arc already. And then secondly, AV1 is significantly more efficient than H.264, which is the encoder that the majority of streamers currently use. Yeah, this is something I wanted to highlight because as I understand it, with AV1, we can actually lower our bit rates from where they currently are and still maintain the same quality of stream, which is pretty incredible in of itself. But there's actually a kicker there too, because as you lower your bit rate, you're also making it easier on your own internet connection and your viewers. So for viewers that struggle to watch in 1080p, for example, due to their connection, they'll actually be able to watch your streams a lot easier. This actually leads me to my next question, which is what benefits does AV1 have for YouTubers? Again, this is twofold, right? You know, firstly, we see many creators encoding multiple streams. That is using a low bit rate for streaming and then capturing a high bit rate file to upload to YouTube for the best quality. Now that's not particularly efficient. And that's why we see a lot of creators using separate streaming PCs to minimize the workload on their primary gaming PC. But with AV1, which YouTube now accepts as an ingest format, you don't have to encode multiple files since the quality of AV1 at streaming bit rates maintains a good enough quality to, to be used for VOD uploads too, which is super cool. Which is going to save both time and resources. Exactly, which leads to the, the second point, because if you want to record your content directly on your system and you're using AV1 to do that, you can get the same quality as high bit rate H.264 at a much reduced file size, which means you can spend less on, on local or cloud storage of, of your exports. Which is also great for creators who need to send files to editors or, like me, like to move files onto other systems to edit. I have one more final question now, and that is, what problems are the Intel Arc GPUs trying to solve? You know, I think for us here at Intel, Intel Arc is all about restoring balance to the graphics market. And you've probably heard us talk about that before, right? You know, it's no secret that graphics card prices have risen substantially 
over the past few years. With mid-range cards now priced like high-end cards and high-end cards priced like entire systems, right? So we want to be the leader in performance per dollar, which is why we price cards like the A750 at, at £249 or $249 in the US, which offers the same performance as some of those more expensive cards one not sacrificing features like XSS and ray tracing and things for content creators like AV1, which again, supported across the entire product range. Which leads me into what I teased right at the start of the video, because whilst you might be looking for a complete upgrade to your rig, in which case I'd be looking at something like the Intel Arc A750, which can handle your gaming, streaming, and recording on a single setup, and as mentioned earlier, only needs to set you back around £250. But if you sat here thinking, well, I already have a GPU, all I want is that sweet AV1 encoding. Well then, I've got some good news for you, as the A380, which goes for around £130, can do just that. And all you need to do is insert it in your PC alongside whatever GPU you have right now, and you can use it as a dedicated AV1 encoder. So, rather than spend upwards of £500 for a new GPU, you can grab yourself one of these little bad boys for almost a fifth of the price and take a ton of weight off your existing GPU, all whilst benefiting from everything AV1 has to offer. If you're a content creator, right now, the Intel Arc GPUs are giving you the opportunity to save on resources, provide better quality, and deliver a better experience to your viewers, all at a price point that others just won't compete with. Also, if you want to check out how to set up these cards and AV1 encoding for your streams and your videos, make sure to check out this video. And if you missed the first video in the series on why I was first attracted to the Arc GPUs, you can take a look at that here. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.